to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben, a church you can call home, amen? And I think I said last week, a church alive is worth the drive, amen? And we need to be teaching and preaching the Word of God, amen? Not know just, uh, uh, I think I said it like this before, we're God's army, Amen. We're not here to be entertained. We're here to be empowered yes. with the word of God. Amen. So Amen. we need to be busy. You need to do your part. You know. <clears throat> Excuse me. The word talks about a physical, this physical body working in unity. Well, the spirit of I mean the the, the body of Christ should be working in unity as yes. well. Amen. You know, so don't just exclude yourself, include yourself. I'm a part of the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. And he's called you. He's put a call for you. So if you don't know that, you know now. We are the church. And we need to draw closer to him each and every day. It's yes. a new year. It's a new day. It's time to draw closer to him each and every day. He says, if you draw close to me, I'll draw closer to you. Yes, yeah. Amen. But he, we got to make that move. The problem is not, not up with him. The problem is with us. We got to fix this right here. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Welcome. Uh, NBC family, all visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video, amen. amen. Just prepare yourselves to receive. He's got a great message for you. And uh, I kind of wrestled with the uh, with the title, but I finally settled with this. God is love, mm. amen. And uh, I'll just leave it at that. God is love because yeah. this, that's what his word says, amen. But li listen, don't leave unchanged. When, you, when you're in his presence, you're going to come out of his changed. You want to be a changed person. You want to be a new person. The Bible says, St. Corinthians uh, 5.17 says, The old is out, the new is in. Yeah. I'm a new creature in Christ. Amen. I'm a love creature of Christ. Amen. So so can you. Amen. So <laughs> there's a hateful world out there. Oh, yeah. Amen. And you got to be full of him. Otherwise, you're going to fall. Yes. Amen. It's still hard. But still, we got to get full of him before we go out and serve the world. Amen. Because we don't need to be serving them. What I, they, what I want to give them, I want to serve them what God wants me to give yeah. them. But if I don't have it in me, I can't give them. Amen. And I'm going to be fearful and not want to do anything. Woo! Hallelujah. Man, we can say amen and go home. <laughs> Praise God. But he wants you. He's not finished with you. He called you. He equipped you. And he wants you to Press on for, with him, amen. Press on for him each and every day, not just once in a while, but each and every day. The new day he's given us. It says rejoice, be glad in it. And he didn't mention no conditions, you know, where it's, yes. it's windy outside, it's uh, raining outside, it's snowing outside. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. yes. It says rejoice, be glad in it. Yes. He gave you a wake up call. Yes. That's the best thing, amen. Woo. So prepare yourselves to receive. God has something for you. And I got a couple of <coughs> scripture bread nuggets for you that I want to read to you. Well, before I do that, let's uh, grab our swords, soldier of God, Amen. and let's make this declaration together. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. This is my Bible. Yes. I am what it says I am. I have it says I have. I can do it since I can do today. I'll be talking with God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Ooh. A couple of nuggets. Let me see which one. Uh, well, both are good. <laughs> Listen, don't let your feelings lead. <laughs> if you're not full of him, you're, feeling, you're full of your feelings. And your feelings, you don't want them to lead. It says, if you feel discouraged, look to the one who will uh, give you courage. Yeah. If you feel weak, look to the one who gives you strength. Uh -huh. If you feel stressed out. Look to the one who gives you perfect peace. Yes. If you feel this dispressed, this pressed, look to the one who gives you the very his very own joy uh, to, of strength. Amen. Yes. Don't look to don't be led by your feelings. Don't let your feelings guide. You, uh, excuse me. Let me let me get this right. Don't let your feelings lead you uh -huh. and guide you. But allow God to lead and guide you. Amen? Yes, amen. And you will live in his truth. And his truth will set you free. Amen. amen. When you live by the word, that truth is going to set you free. Yeah. Amen. All kinds of things coming against you. Yeah. And still, I say, man, you know, we got to stop listening to each and everything because things will pull you away. Don't yeah. let anything pull you out of your peace. Amen. Keep your peace. Amen. 
I don't want anything pulling me out of my peace. You bring Amen. them into your peace. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because they want that peace. They just don't know, but they want the peace you got. They want the love that you have. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Man, the enemy was giving me a hard time on those. <coughs> and in the uh, Proverbs, I give you a scripture. It says, in Joshua 1 9, it says, Have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous? Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Yes. Wherever you go, he says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. So you know he's with you. So if you're feeling lonely, maybe it's because you haven't spent time with him. Mm -hmm. Amen. We need to have a relationship and spend time with him. And Proverbs 3 and 5 and 6 says this, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Well, I don't know which way to go. <laughs> well, you need to spend time with him. He'll yeah, tell you which yeah. way to go. You're not going to be confused. He's not a spirit. He, he's not. Uh, he's he's not, he's not into co confusing you. Amen. Amen. He's he's in there to direct you in the right way to go. Amen. Yeah. Ooh, hallelujah. And don't go share. Sometimes we we just share with anybody. You know, we don't we don't need to share with with uh, no one. That's going to tell you. I got bigger problems than you. I can't tell you where to go. I ain't gone nowhere. <laughs> Or they want you to join them and they're not doing anything. Yeah. Well, that's not what God wants you. Amen. Woo. They want to see you. Your words, your actions is going to tell a whole lot about you. And people see that and they want what you got. What is it that you have? Well, I've got Christ in my life. Well, that's what I, that's what that's that's what they need. Yes. The next uh, uh, scripture break nuggets goes like this. It says, choose to love. <laughs> love the people who betray you may sound impossible and seem impossible, but nothing is impossible with Christ. All things are possible to the one who believes. Believe God for the grace you need to walk in love, even and especially when you rather retaliate against them and curse them out. Give them a piece of your mind. Yeah. Give them something negative. No. So when you choose to walk in love, you have the power of God in you. Amen. Your choice is it's your choice to love or to hate. Uh -huh. So choose to love. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. We're going to be talking today about God is love. Amen. So we're supposed to be imitators of him. So yeah. if he is love, so can we. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we, can, we have to be full of him or we have to be full of his word. Yes. Otherwise, this ugly and hateful world is going to pull you away. Yeah. The Bible says renew your mind to the things of God. And spend time with Him. Spend time in His Word. And meditate on it. Because this world will pull you away right away. It will. It'll just pull you away. It'll suck you away. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, anybody, that could any that could happen to anybody. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, supposedly they say February is a love month. <laughs> because of Valentine. <laughs> Amen. But Every day, well, yeah. every month is a month of love. Yeah. Every day is a, 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 a day of, of loving one another. Yeah. Amen. Not just once in a while, you know. Love God each and every day. But you also have love, love people. For God was sacrificed. Jesus was sacrificed and he paid it all. But he says, for God so loved the world. Not just uh -huh. us little group, you know, our, our own little love group. Mm -hmm. But the whole world. Yeah. And some of the folks in the world are not very lovely. <laughs> and you know that already. Amen. And you got to be full of God. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> you want to give them something else. And rather not go there. It says the Holy Bible is God's love manual. Yeah. <laughs> His love instructions for all of us. Uh -huh. And what this love instruction tells us. It tells us to love Him. Yeah. And it tells us to love one another. Amen. Amen. And to love these people. Uh, I'm going to read to you from... Uh, 1 John 4, 7 through, 7 through 10. So you can open there if you want to. I've got it wrote down here. I'm going to read it to you from New Living Translation. So you can follow along. 1 John. John chapter 4, verses 7 through 10. It's about loving one another. Are you there? It says, Dear, dear friends, let us continue to love one another. For love comes from God. Anyone who loves as a child of God and knows God. Mm -hmm. But anyone who does not love does not know God, for God is love. Mm -hmm. When we're talking about this love, we're talking about love, agape love. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
unconditional love. You know, the world loves with conditions. Amen. Don't be that way. You know, I'll love you if you do this. I love you for this. Whatever, whatever status you have, whatever. There's conditions there, but that's not from God. For God so loved the world. That's yes. agape love. Mm -hmm. Amen. Unconditional mm -hmm. love. And verse uh, 9 says, no wonder I couldn't see it. <laughs> God showed how much he loved us by sending his one and only son into the world so that we might have eternal life through him. Yes. Yeah. And verse, verse, verse 10 says, this is real love. Agape love. Not that we love God, not that we love God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as a sacrifice to take away our sins. Amen. Okay, if you're born and you never accept Christ, you're going straight to hell because the Bible says He, Jesus, is the only way to the Father, mm -hmm. and you have to confess Him as your Lord and Savior with your mouth, not with somebody else, not with mom and dad or friend. But with your mouth, you gotta confess him as Lord and Savior. Yes. And receive him as your Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Salvation is free, but you have to confess it mm -hmm. and you have Amen. to receive it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. And that leads us right into John 3 16 and 17. Mm -hmm. We know John 3 16. Well, that's what's uh bringing us there. There we go. I only gave you the uh the first two. <laughs> it says, Be loved, let us love one another. Mm -hmm. For love is of God, and everyone that loveth. He is born of God and knoweth God. <laughs> he that loveth not knoweth not God. For God is love. Don't say you love. <laughs> and your love is conditional. Mm -hmm. No, if, if you're going to love, you're going to love with the love of God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. Keep going. Amen. Go to the next one. Here we go. John 3 16 and 17. Real King James says, For God so loved the world. We're talking about what's in the world. People. <laughs> there's people. Everywhere you go, there's people. There's people. You can't go hide yourself. No. You know? Like Jonah trying to hide himself in the belly of a whale. <laughs> no. The guy said, okay, I'll give up, Lord. I'll go and do what you want me to do. Don't put yourself there. You know? And and, and the fish went and spit him out. You know, at right. the shores of uh, Nineveh. So God wanted you to do something. God is called you watching, you listening. God has called you and he's equipped you to win, not to lose. If you're losing, it's because you're running. Mm -hmm. It's time you stop. It's time you say, Lord, here I am. I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. And guess what he's going to say? You're forgiven. I've forgotten it. So now it's time to press on, soldier of God. It's time to press on, mighty, mighty God. Amen. It's time to press on with mighty God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Where did I go? <laughs> Says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. Salvation is free, but you have to confess it. You have to confess with your mouth and receive him in your life. Amen. Other and that's the only way. Jesus, the only way to the Father. And John 5, 14, 6 says that he is the only way. Jesus is the only way. He said, I am the only way, the truth, and life. Nobody goes to the Father except through me. Exactly. Amen. Ain't no other way. You can't pay the way. You no. can't yeah, go any other way. Or somebody praying for you. No, you got to confess with your mouth. Amen. Praise God. <clears throat> Keep on. Okay. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. How oh, beautiful. <laughs> Romans 5, 5. Let me, uh, Romans 5, 5. New King James says, Now hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Yes. Jesus says he was going. He met with his disciples, and, you know, he was he was going in Mark 16, you know. He said he was going to go. Yeah. But he says, well, as I go, says, I'm going to leave the Holy Spirit is going to come. Amen. And guess what? The Bible says our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So if you've confessed Jesus, your Lord and Savior, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit. This is the uh, new, 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 uh, good news uh, translation. It says, this 
hope does not disappoint us. For God has poured out his love yes. into our hearts by means of the Holy Spirit, uh -huh. who is God's gift to us. Yes, amen. amen. God, uh, God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. He gave his son. Uh -huh. Jesus gave us the Holy Spirit. He says, I'm going, but the Holy Spirit is coming. Uh -huh. Amen. Woo. Just wait. So Romans 5, 5. You can mark those. Amen. Mm -hmm. Keep going. There we go. Okay, right there. Uh, John 15, 13. The expanded Bible says this. The greatest love a person can show is to die for his friends. Mm. <laughs> no one has greater love than this. To lay down his own life for one's friends. Jesus' death is the ultimate expression of this, of this principle. Jesus showed it. He went to the cross and he laid down his life. He surrendered himself. You know, they couldn't kill him. He was still on the cross and he was still alive until he surrendered himself and gave himself back to the Father. Because he able to lay down his life. Amen. And he died. And he was buried, but he rose third day. Amen. This one says, greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Amen. Amen. This is good. So Jesus paid the price. Yes, yes. He paid a price. He didn't owe. We owe a price. We cannot pay. And he bought us back. He bought us. But you have to confess him to be back. Amen. Yes. You have to confess him. You belong yes. to him. He yes. said one, one of these days, every knee is going to bow. Mm -hmm. Every knee is going to bow to him. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. How do I get to know my heavenly father? <laughs> well, have a relationship with him. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have a relationship with him, it bonds us, he draws us close. We talked about this last week. Draw me close to mm. him or draw close to him to him more this year. Amen. We bond, we we're put the, uh, there's closeness and there's a connection. Amen. There's an open line between us. There's no stops, you know. Mm -hmm. So spend time with him. Imitate him. Copy, reproduce yourself. Mm -hmm. Duplicate him. Yes. Amen. And we, we've got a scripture for it in a few minutes. Uh, Carmen, if you go to the last one, last two, I want I want them to see this. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I put these on just for you. Uh, you know. <laughs> God wants full custody of His children, not just weekend visits. Right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> we, we have to remember this. We, we kind of hit and miss, you know, once in a while. You know, we need to be full time. Amen. We, we've said it like this before. Five time believers, no match to a full time devil. That's it. That's that it. devil is full time, mm -hmm. and he knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. But you know, we need to know what we what we're doing, and we need to know that we have authority, and yes. we can take authority over him and tell yes. him where to go. Uh -huh. Amen. What do you tell the devil? Go to hell. <laughs> he already lives there. Go to hell. <laughs> we used to say that a lot. The people when we was growing up. Go to hell. <laughs> Here's another one that says, please don't say you'll go to jail for your faith mm. when you won't even go to church for it. Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh. This is not for you. This is not oh. for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about excuses. <laughs> Spend time with him. Imitate him. Don't be a stranger to him. We only know little about him. There's no help for you. You know, when it, emergency rises up or when things rise up, God expects you to know and use his word right. to set you free, yeah. to, 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 to call on him, you know. Otherwise, you don't know what to do. I don't know. And when things happen, when, when that situation arises, now is not the time to open the Bible. And where do I find this? What do I do now? You should know by now what to, what to do. Amen. It says, don't treat him like a spare tire. Only use in case of emergencies. Mm. He knows this. Okay? So I'm not getting on you guys. I know. <laughs> it's, it's the other people, you know, the ones that come around and say, wow. <laughs> Listen, don't be like the world. Settle for a quick fix. Oh, gosh. Patch only. <laughs> oh. Instant fix. Patch over oh. the problem. Put a little band-aid over it. Mm. No. Say quick fix, a uh, 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 taco, a fast taco meal to go, please. <laughs> We'd rather go just through, hey, Lord, I'm just going to go through the drive-thru. It's going to be quick, okay? I don't got time, you know, just 
do it quick and I'm gone, you know. We don't have time for a sit down full meal. He wants us to sit down and spend time with him. Amen. Get to know him. He knows us. He knows everything about us. He knows the good and the bad. And guess what? He loves us the most. Amen. We need to know him better. We need to sit down and <clears throat> meditate with him and, and spend time with him and, and know him. Amen. Yeah. Oh, since we dump and go. <laughs> too busy to stop. Too busy to visit. Mm. Or spend time with him. Well, you know, hey, I want you there when I need you. But be there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we want a full-time God. <laughs> and we can't even be part-time believers. Oh. <clears throat> Come on, we're speaking the truth now. Amen. <laughs> How much more us getting the right daily instruction from God? Amen. We need that daily instruction from Him. How are you going to get this instruction? You're going to spend time with Him. When you wake up, get your priority straight. God first. He's on the throne. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's on the throne. Spend time with Him. Get your priorities right. And press on. Mm -hmm. You know, otherwise, we're too busy. We got quick thing, quick patch, quick thing. Bye. I'm gone. I'm out of here. Jesus is the best to know him before you meet him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of these days he's going to call us. You know, he, yeah. we all have a day he's going to call us. Mm -hmm. But get to know him before he calls you. Mm -hmm. Well, I, 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 somebody told me about you. I know very little about you. Yeah, he knows already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He says, <laughs> stop, drop, and roll doesn't work in hell. All right. <laughs> If you know him, you know you're going to heaven. Mm -hmm. But if you don't know him, and you're going to hell, stop, drop, and roll, doesn't work Amen. in hell. <laughs> says, well, I could never love that person. Well, you got to get out of the flesh and get into Christ. Yes. You got to get out of get out, get out of that, your flesh and get into God. Mm -hmm. God is love. We need his love. We need his word. Amen. And we got to stay full of his word. Otherwise, you're gonna get full of the world, and if you get full of the world, you know you go. You know where you're going. Yeah. <laughs> it says, "Put on your Jesus glasses on." Mm. Ooh, hallelujah! Here's my Jesus glasses. Praise God! <laughs> I got my Jesus glasses on. It says, "Put your Jesus glasses of love and compassion. Be imitators of Christ. Mm -hmm. Change now." It says, "Attitudes and flat tires can't. You can't go anywhere." You gotta right. change them before you go anywhere. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So you know you got this uh, attitude of uh, I don't want to be here. Well, guess what? God knows. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta change it. Right. I don't want to be here. Do your best for Him everywhere you go. Whether it's at work, whether it's at the groceries, whether it's shopping, wherever you go, mm -hmm. you bring Him, and He goes with you. He doesn't stay home. <laughs> he's with you whether you believe it or not mm -hmm. he's with you he says I never leave you nor forsake you he's always on the cross mm -hmm. put on your Jesus glasses on and the full armor of God before you step out into mm -hmm. the world yeah. you're going to have a wake up call mm -hmm. if you step out into the world mm -hmm. and you're not full of God yes. or you haven't spent time with him mm -hmm. it's going to wake you up quick I say wow we need to change this mm -hmm. and you can change this by getting more of him in you. We need to get more of him in us. Amen. Amen. Let's go to Ephesians. I told you I was going to read this. And it's one of my favorite uh, scriptures. But I'm going to. The, uh, the King James says. Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. And verse 2 says. And walk in love. How do I do this? All this we do. <laughs> by getting the word in us. Mm, and walking yes. in the word. Amen. It says what? And walk in love as Christ also has loved us and has given himself for us mm -hmm. and offering a sacrifice to God of a sweet smelling savor. Yeah. Amen. But the Amplified goes like this. The Amplified says, therefore, be imitators of God. Yes. Copy him and allow and, and follow his examples. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we got to get in the word and we read what the word says and obey what the word says as well as as well beloved children imitate their fathers verse 2 says and walk in love where is that Ephesians what? Ephesians chapter 5 verse oh, 1 and 2 okay. Thank you. and walk in love walk excuse me and walk in love esteeming and delighting one another 
Yes. As Christ loved us and gave, yes. gave himself up for us, yes. slain, offering, and sacrifice to God for you so that it became a sweet fragrance. Yes. Amen. So listen, it says, be imitators of God. Mm -hmm. It tells you what to do. Yeah. You know, if, we ain't, if we're not being imitators of God, we're being imitators of the world. Right. But we're following, we have heroes, you know, <laughs> like <laughs> Superman, Batman. <laughs> Dallas Cowboys, you know. <laughs> We're following all these heroes, you know, in the world. Well, let Jesus be your hero. None of them guys died for you. Amen. Jesus did. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, if you're going to have a hero, <laughs> this is the best hero Amen. you can have. Amen. Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. He's still the pastor, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let me read you this from the Message Bible. Let me see what, what it go back, Carmen. Uh, Is that Mark? No. No, let me read it to you from. Let me read it to you from uh, Mark 12, uh, 29 through 31. King James says, Jesus answered him, says the first of all the commandments is hear o israel the lord our god is one lord mm -hmm. and thou shalt love the lord thy god with all thy heart, heart. with all your soul all and with all your mind and with all your strength this is the first commandment the second is like namely this thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself this is none other there is no none other uh, excuse me there is none other commandment greater than these amen and that's uh mark 12 chapter 12 verses 29 through 31. Ooh. hallelujah amen thank you lord i'm going to read you uh john 15 13 through 15. this is the message bible but let me read it to you i told you these things for a purpose that it might uh joy might be full your joy and your joy holy uh, mature this is my command Love one another the way I love you. He keep telling us this. Love one another as I loved you. How much did he love us? He sacrificed his son. Yes. Jesus gave his life and was allowed to be sacrificed for us. Amen. This is the very best way to love. Put your life on the line for your friends. You are my friends. When you do this thing, I command you. Obey me. It says, uh, I'm no longer calling you servants because servants don't uh, understand what their master is thinking or planning. No, I've, I've named you friends because I've let you in on everything right. Father, I've heard from Father. Mm -hmm. He keeps us informed. But are you spending time with him? Mm -hmm. and he's talking to you all the time. He says, I stand at the door mm -hmm. and knock. Mm -hmm. And he wants to inform you. But are we letting him in? Mm. We only didn't let him in once in a while. Mm. We only want when we want to. Mm. But he wants to come and visit with you mm. at all times. Amen. But we need to let him in. Amen. He keeps you well informed, obey, and listen. Yes. When he's talking, when he's listening, when he wants to share with you, you got to listen. And not only listen to it, but be obedient to what yes. he has for yes. us. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Bible says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Yes. Yes. 2 Corinthians 5 17 says this. A new life trans uh, new life version says, For if a man belongs to Christ, he is a new person. Mm -hmm. The old life is gone. The new life has begun. Right. A new love life as his child. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. <gasps> keep keep going, Kirby. Mm -hmm. Say we are his love creatures to love an ugly and hateful world. Mm -hmm. If you don't know this, you haven't been out there. Right. And, you, exactly. <laughs> and, and you can't stay locked up in your house all the time. No. You have to go. We got to go to work. We have to go to get some groceries. We have to go to the doctor's office. We have to yeah. go shop. We have to go do things. Catch you. Amen. Catch you <laughs> and it's, it, it's a hateful world out there. It's an ugly world out there. But you got to. The imitators of Christ. Amen. And we gotta keep the love of God. <clears throat> Amen. And be love creatures to love creatures yeah. on earth. He said we're his ministers of reconciliation. Going somewhere to happen for somebody. That's you. That's us. Amen. We're his body. We're his church. Yes. Believers should be the happiest and most loving people. On earth. On earth. <laughs> Amen. 
we, we, we need to do this and believe this. Amen. Believers have been given the love of God for our daily walk each and every day. But you have to spend time with Him. And you got to receive it and receive what He wants you to do. Mm -hmm. Right. Amen. <laughs> you know, David was not afraid of the giants that was waiting on him. That giant that was waiting on him. Because he knew his God. Mm -hmm. Amen. He knew his God was with him. He knew his God was backing him. And we need to do the same thing. When we spend time, when we wake up and we spend time with him, you know, God is with me. He never leaves me, nor forsakes me. He goes everywhere I go. Yeah. So whatever giants are out there, mm -hmm. look out. Amen. I'm ready for you. Wow. Amen. We need to be strong in him. Not in fear, he said, but we walk by <clears throat> sight. We walk by faith, not by sight. Not by sight. Amen. We walk by faith, not by sight. And he's not giving you a spirit of fear, but a power, of love, and of a sound mind. Amen. So <laughs> I don't have that. You know, it's a spirit of fear. I, I rebuke that spirit of fear, my Amen. Life. Amen. You got to do the same thing. Yeah. Let, it, let it go. God is not giving it to you. Yeah. Let it go. I, I'm not entertaining it. Because believers have been given this love from God for our daily walking life. We are his love children. Yes. <laughs> Loving, accepting, and forgiving. We need, to, we need to write that down. We need to know this. Mm -hmm. We're loving, accepting, and forgiving. What does he do with the sins we confess to him? He forgives and forgets. Yep. We need to do the same thing. For God so loved the world, the same people that we hate. He said, but you don't know these people I know. No, no. <laughs> you don't know these people I know. Man, it was not, it was easy when, when you was here. <laughs> No, <laughs> he went through the same thing and harder things he went through mm -hmm. than, than us. Amen. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Praise God. If you put, put on Christ each and every day before you go out, put your Jesus glasses on before you go out. <laughs> we are his love children, loving, accepting, and forgiving. We're his, uh, his ministers of reconciliation, his ambassadors for Jesus. You know what ambassador is? You're his mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. Word's not going to get out unless you bring it there. That's it. And you got to speak it out. Mm -hmm. It's not just good enough for you to have the word in you. Mm -hmm. You got to speak it out. Yes. And when you speak it out, it goes out and does what it's supposed to do. That's it. Otherwise, it's just going to stay in. That means you're walking in fear. Mm -hmm. Don't walk in fear. Walk in by faith. Yes. And then step out. Say, man, Jesus is with me. I don't care what devil in hell is going to uh -huh. try to come against me. You take authority, amen. amen. Again, uh, Ephesians 5, 1 and 2 in New Living Translation says, Imitate God, therefore, in everything you do. Why? Because you are his dear children. Live a life filled with love, following the example of Christ. He loved us and obeyed him, offered, excuse me, he loved us and offered himself as a sacrifice for us. Uh, pleasing aroma to God. Amen. God <laughs> made you the original that you are. He didn't make you yeah. a copy. Correct. He made you an, an original. It says, uh, God made you an original. Don't copy anyone or die a copy for anyone. For anyone. That's it. Amen. You're an original. An original is better than any copy. Amen. You're not a copy of nothing. You're an original. God made you. No one else like you. Amen. <laughs> no one's got your uh, fingerprint <clears throat> except you. Amen. Don't copy the world, people, or their ways. It's time to change. Mm. Make that change. <laughs> you know, hey, you, you read the word and then you put a stop and say, wait a minute. This is what the world's been telling me. Mm -hmm. But the word of God is totally against it. So I'm going to yes. put a stop to this. I'm going to make a change. It's yes, time to yes, change. Yes. You know, even a baby smells better when you change them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. If you get yourself out in the world, you're going to stink. Mm. Amen. You hang around skunks, you're going to stink. Yeah. You know, but when we change and change friends, change locations, mm -hmm. change and be where God wants you to be. Yes. Not where you want to be. Not where people want you to be, mm -hmm. but where God wants you to be. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I'm preaching. Stop. <laughs> Imitate Jesus, demonstrate your agape love and your compassion to the fatherless, the homeless, the sick, the diseased, the sick, yeah. Those rejected, those in sin, and those that are lost. And most of all, to the hippo and the ugly, because they're out there. Yeah. Amen. 
if you haven't run into any of them, it's time you step out of your house <laughs> and step out of your car. You'll see these people and you'll oh, hear yeah. these people, but you don't have to answer or react the way they want you to. Mm -hmm. Amen. You take it in and you let the word of God come out yeah. and you let that peace draw them into your peace, not be drawn into their hate. Mm -hmm. Amen. And be Christ-like. You can do it. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Lord, I need your strength. How many times do you think Jesus went to the Father and says, Father, I need your strength. Mm -hmm. And these people are being ugly. <laughs> what would Jesus do? And that went on for a long time. What would Jesus do? This is not, uh, what's his name? Job. <laughs> what would Job do? What, Jesus, what would Jesus do? Jesus loved, Jesus accepted, and Jesus forgave. And he had compassion. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the world needs to see this. They need to see the difference. They need to see Christ in us. Yes, amen. Yes. Amen. The, the, your love, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> your words, your actions are going to say a whole lot about you. I can. I just hear people. I say, wow. But I ain't going to judge them. You know what? Tells me, it tells me they need Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I can bring Christ to them. And I can lead them to Christ. Amen. Ooh. For God so loved the world. Mm -hmm. You're going to be around these people everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. You can't get away from them. <laughs> Listen, you need to write this down. Mm -hmm. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Exactly. Amen. You care so much. You pulled them out of hell. Because they was going straight through hell. Amen. One of these days people are just go. You get to heaven when God calls you home. A bunch of people going to run up and hug you and say. That word you gave me. Thank you so much. I was going straight to hell. And God used you. To bring some. And make you feel so good. Say man. God used me to bring somebody out of hell. And to know that, that you, you shared with people and they made it to heaven because of you. You got to see yourself the way he sees you. He loves yeah. you. Amen. He cares for you. And you can do all these things through him. Yes. Amen. <laughs> World versus believers. Oh, What's boy. the difference? The love of God. Mm -hmm. The love and compassion of God. And the love for one another. As a body of Christ, we should be working together in unity and we should be loving one another encouraging one another meeting together encouraging amen one another amen we're to love one another just like the father loves us unconditional mm -hmm. not not only in church building but outside these four walls mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's when the test begins yes <laughs> oh yeah just get away from church and everything so nice in church Everybody talks so nice at church. But you get away from church, this building. <laughs> Amen. And sometimes it's just got to be you and God is with you. But you got to let his word and speak the same thing. Speak the word. Amen. Again, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Let his love flow through you or from you. And let his compassion flow from you. His love and His compassion. Hallelujah. Amen. There's all <clears throat> says out there we have we all have different fields, different jobs to go to, but we are still His ministers of reconciliation. We're still His ambassadors. Amen. I've said it like this before. You're the closest thing to a Bible. Some people be around, and you had the opportunity to share. That's your pulpit. That's your people right there. Amen. So don't be frightened. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. It's time to love them and share with them. Amen. The world's already rejected them. The world has put them down. We don't need to do the same thing. They need to see. They need to see the Christ likeness and coming from us. The love, his love and his compassion. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And I'm going to give you this scripture that we should all know already. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 10, 25, 24 and 25. Easy to read version. Mm. Help each other be strong. It says, mm. we should think about each other to see how we can encourage each other 
to show love and do the good works. We must not quit meeting together as some people are doing. No, we need to keep on encouraging each other. This, that, this becomes more and more important as we see the day getting closer to yeah. Jesus' return. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. But we shouldn't stop meeting together. You know, the the sickness, the, the, the COVID, and, and all these things, the government trying to take God away from each and everything and stopping us from meeting together. It says we shouldn't stop meeting no matter what. We should always assemble ourselves together, come and meet together, love one another, and we will win the world or the people for Jesus. Amen. Your words, your actions will show Jesus in you. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Yeah. Loving one another. We make it hard because we have excuses for not loving. <laughs> so some people are not lovable. Guess what? We used to be there. <laughs> and if you, if you still have that problem, you need to get saved. Because <laughs> you should be showing love and compassion. Yes. Amen. <laughs> we never have a good report about anyone. We should. <clears throat> Amen. We should. Let's get serious about love, accept, and forgiveness. And imitate Christ. No one is good enough or lovable. It says, Amen. I know their past. You know, we know their past. I know all about them. I know all these things. Well, guess what? If you know all these things, then you're the closest thing to lead them to Christ. Amen. Amen. You're the closest thing to bring them to Christ. For God so loved the world. Amen. Quit judging and start loving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> Quit, uh, uh, what was it called? Quit being a spectator and start being a uh, uh, participator. Mm -hmm. That's the word I was using. <gasps> Quit spectating and start participating. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you spectate, you're just judging. Yeah. And you're seeing the wrong. Yeah. And you're hearing the wrong. Now it's time to be a participator. Yes. Participate and bring the love of God to us. Yes. Amen. I'm going to read this and I'm going to close. Yeah. Amen. I don't know. Thank you, Lord. I'm just going to read it to you. Let me tell you. Why do I... <laughs> Why do I go to church? <laughs> Why do I go to church? I want you to read this. I mean, I, will, I really want you to get this. I don't want you to go to church just because it's a place where we assemble ourselves together. Listen, I go to church because I believe in God and I know God is here. God it could be anywhere. God could be at your home. God could be in your car when you're driving. Yes. God, God is everywhere. Oh, yes. I believe Jesus is the only way to the Father. He is the only way, the truth, and the life. Yes. Amen. He's, and, uh, I, I, I assemble ourselves together. I believe I come to church because we praise and worship God together <coughs> and, and encourage one another. For spiritual growth and guidance. Mm -hmm. We're going to preach only the word of God. I'm not going to preach what I want. I'm not trying to make myself... Popular. I'm trying to make share my God and share His word. Amen. So you might hate me because I'm preaching the truth <laughs> and it's hurting you. <laughs> mm. Says, keep my faith up and growing and going for Him. Mm -hmm. That's why I come to church. Why I come to church? I come to church because I know God has brought me here. I'm just going to share this with you when Patricia and I went to I mean we're in San Diego and there's churches everywhere and when we prayed and asked the Lord to show us where to go he showed us where to go and he told us where to go it wasn't the most popular place it wasn't the mega church that we can go hide at <laughs> he sent us to a small church but you know what they were a small church with a big God mm -hmm. and we need to remember this you might go to a small church and people are going to judge you for that. I say, you know what? We may be small, but we have a big God. And He's bigger than anything else. We prayed and God sent us there. So nobody can take us out of there unless you take yourself out. Don't leave 
just because you see something imperfect because there's no perfect church if you find a perfect church you being there will make it imperfect <laughs> if 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 you see something happening if you see some listen if you see something happening the best thing you can do is pray for your situation pray for your pastors pray for your leaders pray 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 because the enemy listen the enemy's got the world yeah. He ain't worried about the world. He's worrying about us assembling ourselves together. He's concerned about us meeting together. Mm. So he wants to bring division into the body of Christ. Mm. So if you see something that needs help or needs prayer, pray about it. Yes, amen. Amen. Don't just hide it and say, well, you know, I just go find me somewhere else. Well, you can go find somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Wherever you go, they're going to have the same problem. Yeah. They're going to have problems too. No church is perfect. But we can pray about it and we can love one another yes. and encourage one another mm -hmm. and grow together and say, well, you know what? I'm there because God sent me there. Mm -hmm. If God says it's time to move, move to somewhere else, then go in peace. Yes. Go, and go, go with our love, you know. Praise I have no problems with that. But stay and serve till God moves you or promotes you. Amen. So I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Well, we still got some more. So next week we'll do uh, part two on uh, God's love. Amen. You can ever. Amen. <laughs> I'll do God's love. Amen. So hallelujah that you receive. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Those of you watching, those of you listening, like I say it every time, you know, quit running from God. It's time you stop. It's time you turn yourself over. It's, talk, it's called commit, submit, mm -hmm. and surrender yourself yes. totally to him. All you need to do is say, Lord, I have sinned against you. I repent. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior because I want to start serving you. Mm -hmm. And you know what he's going to say? He says, I forgive. I forget. Now it's time for you to press on. Mm -hmm. And we got to get the word in us. We, we got to get in a Bible-based church where we can mature in the things of God. Get to a Bible and start reading it and do what you need to do. <clears throat> Amen. <laughs> if you're in prison, then <laughs> pray about it. And you can pray about anything. There's no division. There's no no limits to how far your, your prayers can go. Or wherever you happen to be. But still, confess Him as your Lord and Savior and start living for Him and doing for Him. Because He put a call in your life and He's not going to take that away. Amen. You just got to be obedient and do it. You have sickness in your body? I say it to myself all the time. Body, line up with the Word of God. Receive your healing because by Jesus Christ I am healed. Any malfunctions in this body, I command you to stop. And I command everything, everything in my body to function the way God created it to function. And that's good. Amen. So let's remember that. If it's, it's time to give, mm -hmm. look at the website. It should be on the screen there. It says NBCBigBand.com. Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NB, uh, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Mm -hmm. And uh, Cash App, New Beginnings Church. Of the big band. God loves you and we love you. Praise God. Yeah. Yeah.